Hey guys, Max Gwyn here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Coliseum. So, we had a a bit of a whirlwind long episode last episode that I didn't even mean to be this long, but it ended up being that way because we ended up going the wrong way when I was actually wanting to go the wrong way, but it turned out to be the right way instead of the wrong way. Anyway, we <coughs> went over to the let's see which one it is uh we went over to the right basically because i wanted to go that way first because i thought okay the right has to be the direction that you go if you want to get some items or something because the front is obviously going to take us to the front of the coliseum and that is where we don't want to go yet but turns out the front was the right way to go if you didn't want to go the right way. <laughs> okay, that guy's speaking some gibberish. But we ended up being able to do it anyway. We didn't have any problem whatsoever. Uh, herbal medicine. Uh, I don't think I want any of those. Actually, are they pretty cheap? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd say they're pretty cheap. Energy Root is like a uh, hyper potion, right? That could help us out a bit and it's only 800. Whereas a hyper potion I think it's like 1200. So those might not be bad to use. Although we couldn't use them on Espeon because Espeon has returned but nobody else does so I mean really does it matter to me? I don't think so. I don't have anything that evolves by friendship that I know of. Uh, but this is where we wanted to go. Unfortunately, oh my gosh, of course, it happens again. How do you like that? They openly give out shadow Pokemon in this town. Oh, really? This is it? This is all you had to say, Rui? Okay, well, anyway, there is a Pokemon Center here as well that I didn't even know was here. See, this is the place we were supposed to go first before we went over to the right-hand side and just immediately had to face Venus. I think that was her name, right? Venus? Uh, excuse me, fellow. The talk of the spy of spies loose in the under. Is it true? Sure. Ah, uh, but have no fear. My Makuhita here will clean up the spy problem. Okay. If this leads to where I think it does... Okay, it doesn't. I was gonna say, if this leads to that TV studio that we just came from, I'm gonna be pretty mad <laughs> because basically we were supposed to come this way first uh, this is the under Coliseum and we were supposed to come here first but we went over to the the right hand side because I wanted to get the items basically is what I'm trying to say and I thought there would be items up there I didn't think there would be anything else so when I went over there Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay, I was going to say, if this is another story moment right now. Uh, but we ended up going right into story, and we ended up fighting Venus at the same time, and we also had to catch a Suicune. So, yeah, a lot went down, and I ended up... I was looking at the TMs and stuff, and it turns out that uh, I had a button set to record, which would be enter, uh, which was so stupid of me to do that, but yeah, I had enter set as my button and yeah, I didn't actually, well, I guess we do have to go that way now. Can't seem to go over here anyway, but I didn't, I didn't think we needed to go over there first, so I wasn't prepared to catch Suicune. But I did catch it, and I actually managed to catch it pretty easily. I know a lot of people probably would think that I couldn't, but I did. I actually caught it pretty easily. Uh, it took me, I think, maybe a couple Ultra Balls and a Great Ball, and then I threw that Net Ball, and I caught it. So I was pretty happy about that. I'm going to check here, though, before I go back over there, because we did fight her. Um, she did run down the stairs. I think we already read this too. Yeah. Okay. 
So we ended up catching Suicune. Long story short that I'm just like randomly talking about over and over and over again and restarting my story a million times because I'm just getting distracted. Uh, but we got Suicune. Didn't take that uh, that much effort that I thought it was going to be, but I wasn't prepared at all. We managed to defeat Lady Venus and uh, I ended up having to fix the video afterwards because I accidentally didn't record it and then I did record it because I had enter set as record and I was looking up the TMs to try to see what they were and of course just so happened to oh well speaking of TMs just so happened to not be hit the record well to hit the record button on and off so that would have messed up the whole entire thing how fitting that is a track as well because that's what she used on my Pokemon but we're all good though. We are so good. She's gonna run off uh, because she's a little loser and uh, we're just gonna open the door up here. That way we can get to and from where we need to go by unlocking the door. Uh, she went that way so I'm gonna go this way. Again I'm gonna avoid going the way that she's going only because I really would like to not go into a bunch of story all at once. I'm sensing that if we went that way, we wouldn't be able to follow her though, because I think the elevator probably won't work. Let's just see. Let's just see if the elevator will come back up. No, it won't. Okay, so in a roundabout way, we were only doing this so that we could come in here uh, and actually unlock this door, because we're probably gonna have to fight all those people to get all the way down there to her. So before we do that, I'm going to actually go ahead and save. Um, we do have a couple Pokemon as well that we need to unlock some hearts. I have not done that yet. I'm not sure if I want to do it right now because we're right in the middle of this big huge part of the story. So I think I'm just going to wait. And then whenever we get done with this part here, we'll come back or we'll go back to that village area and we will... Whoops! There were n other spies. You're not getting past me. Yeah, I figured we're gonna have to go down the spiral staircase of infinite battles to get to Lady Venus. All right, but I kind of just figured that we would wait until we got finished with this underground area until we have to go back to what is it? A gate village? I think it's called. That'd be a lot better to do. Just wait. Okay, so I don't think these are gonna be shadows. I'm not sure if they will be or not, but you know what, we're just going to take out the Jigglypuff first because I don't really want to fool with um, Sing because I feel like it probably will sing me a whole bunch and try to put me to sleep and I just am not with that. I was going to say it would have been really good for Metatype because it's a normal type so we could have used a uh, fighting type move on it but we don't have any fighting type moves just yet so Alrighty then. If you made sense of anything though that I said at the beginning, basically the short version here is that I'm good now, okay? <laughs> we we had a shock last episode. Everything just all happened like at once. But I'm totally good now. And we're back into it and we are ready to get back to hopefully making some more progress today. Hopefully not like making too much progress because there is a point where I want to stop and I don't want to be forced into a paddle that I have to catch a legendary Pokemon in but if that happens we're gonna try to do the best that we can. Oh okay I was gonna say I don't think we're gonna have to catch any shadow Pokemon but it looks like we are gonna catch some. We have a Gligar that is going to be able to be caught. You know you'd think that I would remember all these shadow Pokemon but I clearly don't remember any of them. And I really hope that- ooh, actually I didn't even notice, but this thing is level 43. That's a really large level. We're, we're like in the 30s right now with all, our, all of our Pokemon. We're clearly not ready for this. And that, that seemed to have been my problem a lot whenever I played through this game is because of the way that I did it. 
I always wanted to do the game like this. Um, I wanted to get the shadow Pokemon down. Oh my gosh, he's just taking them all down one by one. Uh, but I wanted to get their hearts down while still training up my normal Pokemon. So it was a little bit annoying to me because they're low leveled and we're getting into a higher leveled area where the, the Mons are like 37 and then the Shadow Mon is 43. So it's just been, it's just been kind of annoying to me, which that was the way it was for me though when I played through it. Uh, on my own. See, I I did play through this a few times, but there's certain parts of the game where I would just stop playing because it got really annoying. Uh, because since I have this certain way of doing things that it can be kind of difficult, and since they don't readily give you Pokemon to fight that are available to you so that you can lower your shadows, uh, their hearts, it's kind of weird. I don't know how to explain it, but the levels get higher while uh, the levels get higher while I'm not leveling up the way that I'm supposed to be. So it's pretty difficult. They really what they want you to do is whenever you get their hearts opened up, they want you to pick a team and stick to it and level that team. But that's just not what I want to do. For some weird reason, I I like to treat this game kind of like. I don't want to say like a Nuzlocke, because it really isn't a Nuzlocke, but I kind of like to treat it like that, only for the fact that there's always a different Pokemon, and I find that to be a lot better. Just having the different Pokemon on your teams, and normally with a Nuzlocke that happens, especially with me, because I lose Pokemon left and right. But with this, it gives you more of a chance to catch them, because obviously you have a uh, Tons of shadow Pokemon at your dispense, and if you want to catch them, which normally I would say to catch them, because you'll have more options for your teams, but just being able to catch the different types of Pokemon and then once you get their hearts opened up, if you don't want to use them, put them in the PC, use another one. It's super, super easy and way better, in my opinion, than just sticking with one team in general. So. I kind of I kinda like it. I like the way that they did this game and to me I wish they would redo this game. Either this one or the, the other one, um, XD Gale of Darkness, put it on the Switch. That would be pretty fun to get to see. Just to be able to, to see the upgraded graphics for these games and like the upgraded music and uh, just the different uh, types as well, upgraded typings, upgraded um, just everything basically. Just to see everything upgraded would be really nice on the Switch or just whenever they would like to do it because I know sometimes they do like to go back and uh, redo some of those old games. Ooh, it seems to me like for some reason they don't want to redo this one. Like this one and XD, they're just kind of skipping over for some reason. I really don't know why. <laughs> okay, Gligar, you're really getting on my nerves. I need you to just get into this Pokeball, you're making me waste them, and I really don't want to waste them. <laughs> Plus Suda Widow is probably like really confused because I keep calling its name multiple times. And it's like, hello, I'm not in shadow mode. Why do you keep calling my name? Don't do that. <laughs> and I think this might be the time that we probably need to grab some Ultra Balls. It's what it's looking like. <laughs> uh, but I am not. Okay, I'm gonna repeat. I am not gonna redo this battle. Just so I have to catch this Gligar. Because it wants to kill itself. So, you can get in this ball. I don't think the nest balls are gonna work anymore. I really don't. I'm gonna go ahead and throw those. I don't want to use Pokeballs like this that I know is probably just wasting a turn, but the nest balls I think work up to like level 30 and we're level 37 and he's level 43 so I didn't really expect it to catch but 
I'm glad it did because that was kind of getting annoying. I was having to waste so many great balls. And like I was talking about, uh, like I was saying, sure. There you go. Cry. I don't care. You can cry all you want. But like I was saying last episode, uh, money is tight in this game, okay? It's hard to get some money. So me buying items is something that I rarely will have time to do since they are a commodity and it takes a lot of money to get them. Although we're probably going to get some pretty good cash cash money from all these battles that we're going to do though. That'll be nice. Rui, get out of the way. Uh, but we're going to get a lot, we're, we'll get a lot of cash from all these battles going down this staircase so I'm sensing this could be a pretty good flow of cash and then after we finish here we'll be able to go and have a little breather uh, that way we can get some items and then we'll also be able to uh... what's Frina doing up top oh yeah she's just losing but we'll also be able to go and grab us some uh, I said items right yeah We'll get some items, but then we will also be able to unlock some hearts, so it's just going to be a good old time. Also, I should probably switch Umbreon out for Espeon because uh, Espeon needs some new training. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to kill this Curlia real quick. Uh, because I think this should one-shot. No, it doesn't. I'm surprised with that. I really thought it would. Does Umbreon get crunch? That would be really good if it got crunch. Because we could definitely use a crunch right about now. Okay, Meditate, you're really getting on my nerves right now. I need you to I need you to get done with your with yourself and your shadow self. It's just not working for me. Okay, we are going to switch. Actually, no, we're not gonna switch you yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure. You're going to go down to whatever you get hit by this time. So I'm going to go ahead and send you, save you for a little bit. We're going to focus on uh, just catching the shadow Pokemon. Because I think there's going to be another one I have to catch. It, it might be this Gloom. No? Okay. I don't know if there's one every battle. But I know that this is the area where we're probably going to catch a few extra shadows after we done caught Suicune. <laughs> love how we went from uh, we went from catching like little what did we catch uh, we caught a little pseudo and uh, other mons <laughs> we're just going from catching those to catching Suicune was a big difference I mean I was just floored that we were catching Suicune already I didn't remember where Suicune actually was. Um, I knew where Raikou was and I knew where Entei was, but I didn't know that Suicune was right here. So we basically caught two out of the three legendary dogs that we need to catch, which is good. Do you call them legendary dogs or you, do you call them legendary beasts? Or do you just not call them anything but legendaries? See, me personally, I actually don't think they look like dogs. I know it sounds really weird, but they look more like cats to me. I mean, especially Raikou. I mean, it looks like a tiger. So why would you call them legendary dogs? I just don't get it. Um, but just going from catching things like a Dunsparce here to catching something like a Suicune was just super... Some it just wasn't even in my brain that I thought that we were going to do that that soon. I was totally prepared to uh, just take on Venus, but not right now. I was, I was thinking we were going to do it later. I didn't even think she was going to be over there in that building. That's one of the things, though, that I really like about replaying an old game that I didn't ever beat or have little knowledge of. It's that that first time getting to do something and you get that first experience with it is just kind of nice to me because nowadays. When you play through a game, you normally know 
every single thing that's going to happen in the game and you're spoiled to it you, with the internet and like social media and everything nowadays you know everything that's going to happen before it even happens so to me i just think that to be able to have an experience with playing a game through that you either haven't played before or just don't remember is actually really fun and I really enjoy it so that's why I'm really really looking forward uh, to playing the new ones actually um, it's probably going to be actually it's not probably it will be the new games will be out by the time that you see this uh, because as of right now I have probably about two weeks a little a little bit less than two weeks before the games come out um, I'm talking about Sword and Shield, by the way, the new Pokemon games. Um, and so I'm basically playing this game because I'm trying to wait, wait it out as much as possible to, until I can play the other games. Uh, but this one is something that I haven't played in a while, so just to have that experience of like, oh, I forgot this happened, I didn't know Suicune was going to be here, I didn't know how to catch it, just that first time thing is going to be really good and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, when Sword and Shield drop because I really think it's going to be good. I really do. I think that that first experience I'm going to have, I'm probably going to have a connection with these games like I have a connection with Generation 3. Just for the fact that I don't know everything about the games. I literally know nothing about them and I'm super happy about that. Like, as of today, right now, um... One of the things that's going on that I guess I could talk about, I'm not really sure if it's true or not, but for right now, we're just going to say that there's some people online who have already pre-downloaded the games and have decided, hey, I'm going to leak the game, I'm going to leak the evolutions of the starters, things that Pokemon hasn't even talked about yet, and... I'm gonna leak it and ruin it for everybody else. Like, why do you want to do that? Just why do you want to do that? I'm not even going near any type of, like, social media that involves Pokemon or anything like that. Um, just for the fact that I don't want to get spoiled for the game. Because I have waited so long for these games and I have hid myself for so long from the internet so that I don't learn anything about the games I really really don't want to know any more than what they're gonna show um, and even that I'm kind of avoiding as well I'm not even looking on the Pokemon's page uh, or anything I'm just I'm just waiting it out I just want that experience like when I was a kid and I played a Pokemon game for the first time and I've not seen anything about the games at all. So I was just like, ooh, this is gonna be interesting. What happens here? What kind of Pokemon is this? How does this Pokemon evolve? Oh my gosh, that's a new one. I haven't seen that one yet. Just all that stuff that I wanna see and experience, I think is gonna be great. And I cannot wait to do that and experience that. Okay, are you gonna be as fickle, Mr. Stantler? as your Gligar brethren or female Lin. I think the Gligar was a female as well. I'm not sure. But I think what we'll do is probably, yeah, we'll go ahead and we will catch the Stantler and then we'll go back and we will save and then we'll end off the episode. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say we're gonna be ready to almost end off the episode. Um, just for the fact that we have only done- well, I know we've only done two battles, but just for the fact that we have been going on for 24 minutes now. And I want to try to keep them- I want to try to keep them a rel relatively shorter episodes. I know this sounds kind of weird, uh, but I've been trying to hold back on making them like 30 plus minutes. Um, because I just think that's a little wrong. Especially for my videos, um, because from what I've seen, you guys don't really watch that much of the videos anyway. And I don't want to make them too long. <sighs> Come on, Stantler. Really? Are you going to be difficult? Like, please do not kill yourself. That's the last thing that I would want. 
It's for you to kill yourself. While I'm trying to catch you. Alright, you're gonna make me do it. Fine. I'm going to use a potion. I'll use a super potion on Espeon. That's only for the fact that I want you to get into this Pokeball. I think you can do it. Don't kill yourself first before you have a chance to get in the Pokeball. I need you to uh, listen up. I love how they're giving us all these random Pokemon to catch as shadows, and I'm gonna have to use these Pokemon eventually. It's gonna be like the uh, the Rimmeraid. Was it a Rimmeraid? I think it was a Rimmeraid. It's gonna be like the Rimmeraid situation all over again. Okay, this is not happening. Yeah. No, you are not killing yourself. So we're gonna save right there and you are gonna get caught. You know what? Let's go for a premiere ball. Why not? Why not? And I guess I will use a hyper potion on Espeon. I really don't want to but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Just for the simple fact that he keeps using, uh, she keeps using a takedown, and uh, that is a really strong move, especially on a Stantler because it's stab. Okay, we should have one more chance to catch it. If not, then I'm gonna have to redo it, of course, which is gonna get annoying. Whoa, you are literally at one HP. This should be fun. I can't believe I'm actually gonna do this. But I am going to actually use an Ultra Ball. I don't wanna do it. I really don't wanna do it, but I'm getting to the point right now where I'm getting kind of upset that they're not getting caught in these like Great Balls and Pokeballs. All this bounty of Pokeballs that I bought. And of course, you didn't get caught. Now you're probably going, yeah, you're gonna kill yourself with Takedown not going to happen. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen, Stantler. It's not going to happen. Um, right, fine. We'll use a timer ball. This time I'm not going to heal up Espeon because I already know what's going to happen. Uh, so we're just going to keep going back and forth from this point here until we are able to catch it. Although, I do have two chances. So I will do at least two, two Pokeballs before we go ahead and get back uh, to where we were. Because even well, with Shadow Rush though, that didn't take out as much of its HP uh, as... Did I use this Nest Ball? I really don't want to. That didn't take, all, take off as much of its HP as Takedown did. Uh, probably because Shadow Rush isn't as strong as Takedown. It's a pretty strong move, but I don't like the recoil. I get the, the point of it, but I just I think it's weird. Alright, using Shadow Rush again, so that should give us one other chance to catch you, right? I do like having Pseudo Udo on the team though, because it, because it is a uh, it's a big wall. Which I'm very happy about. Can you get caught? Like seriously, what do I have to throw at you before you will get caught? This is getting kind of annoying. Sometimes. Sometimes the simplest of Pokemon can be the hardest to catch and I don't get why, but whatever. It's kind of like the Dunsparce situation, I think. I think the Dunsparce we had a little bit of trouble catching uh, because I think Dunsparce actually does have a, a low catch rate or a high catch rate. What is it? I don't actually remember. Is it a low catch rate or is it high? Like if they have a low catch rate, are they easier to catch or harder? I don't, I don't ever get that. I tried to understand it, but I just can't understand. Okay, well I guess it isn't going to matter what Pokeball we use, I guess, to catch this thing. Um, if we don't get it on this one though, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. This is kind of getting annoying. At this point, how many Pokeballs can we watch you bust out of? Alright. I'm actually going to save right here.
Oh, dang it. I always do that. Why do I always do that? I can't believe I always do that. Okay. That way it makes it a little bit easier on us. Doesn't matter what you do. Uh, there, there's like this weird thing like with my emulator thing where uh, when I go out of the screen to go and check it and like load the different state it actually can I do this? Oh no I can't. It has a little like an X. It's hard to explain actually <laughs> and it's gonna look weird because when you do this multiple times um, it actually will go black screen sometimes but nothing to worry about it should be just fine and should come back uh, and be normal but like when I go out of the emulator and I go to look I'm gonna actually I'm gonna do this as well now but when I go out to look at it I, I'm so used to like closing out of things that I push the X button and I don't mean to push the X button but I do every single time. Boy this is this is shaping up to be a little bit annoying. You know maybe I should just do this with a different Pokeball. if you guys want to know what I do, this is what I do. Yes, we caught you. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and run back to the PC off screen though. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off because we've been going on a little long now. Plus my cat is over there meowing at the door anyway, running in. So I will go ahead and go back and save and then next time we will continue on where we left off. So I will see you guys in the next episode of some more Pokemon Coliseum. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I thought she was going to say something more, but she didn't. Never mind. <laughs>